what's up what's up what's up welcome to another stream another how to airbrush stream so as always going over a few things first the image the stencil itself if you go down below the video uh, there is a link to the stencil itself down below so you can check that out if you want to do this exercise later at home uh, also uh, just want to shout out to our sponsors real quick so we got createx colors here providing the paint for today and we got super clean over here in the back see these guys uh, they provide our little cleaning solution for rinsing out colors which works really good what's up where it's up uh air todd what's up james hello hello um as always if you want to participate in the chat as well as help the channel bring you more videos uh joining the skull squad is a great way of doing so helps bring you more videos like this better and newer content constantly as well as special promotions like the one we're doing with hd stencils coming up uh here soon so again Go ahead and check all that out and get yourself all signed up. So we're going to be using two colors today. Uh, I've kind of laid gray, right? What's up, Stephen Ward? How's it going, man? So I laid gray down and then I pasted on our stencil here over the gray. So I've gone ahead, cut it out, right, with a blade. Uh, a lot of people wonder, how do you get the, the paper to stick on there? That's still a recurring theme. Even though I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned the spray adhesive, right? Just use some spray adhesive, a light coat of spray adhesive because you do want this to come off. You don't need to lay a whole bunch of it. Just a light little coat um, will do you just good, right? So I've laid down gray today. So we're starting on a gray base. I'm going to mix up some black uh, to get started today. So I'm going to be using the Iwata Eclipse HPCS. Here. It has a 0.35 millimeter needle and let me actually turn this pressure back down We're gonna be working about 25 psi today All right, let's Set this again Oh, wow. oh, oh okay Perfect, 25 PSI today. And we're gonna be using the Createx Illustration Opaque Black, along with Createx's 4011 Reducer uh, for today's work. And I'm just gonna about do half and half. We don't need to mix up a whole lot. So I'm just gonna throw in a few little, you know, a little squirt in there. And then the same thing for the Reducer gonna throw about one little squirt in there like I said about half and half mix that's what we're working with today we want it kind of fine we want it kind of smooth um, so that we could work in nice and tight and it'd be nice and sharp also to get the blends really nice and smooth and the shading nice and smooth um, you want it kind of fine and the illustration colors like I've said before um, it's like one of the nicest uh, smoothing pigments or whatever so no I, I actually didn't draw this up this is a design i've seen a lot of artists uh, do uh, so i just kind of took it and uh i did like draw up my own little version of it but I, I this pose is pretty popular and i've seen this quite a few times so i'm not sure who the original one is but i know i've seen quite a few artists do it so it's like, ah, eh, we might as well make a tutorial on it. Like I said, the stencil image is free to use down below if you're interested in doing so. So again, just shaking it, shaking it really good. Make sure we get that paint and that reducer nice and mixed. Then we're going to start working our way around here taking pieces off and coloring in. So inside the mouth here, right, we have her teeth, but we also have a part between her teeth and the lips. And we want to go ahead and just take that piece off. 
right there. We also have her nostrils marked off. So go ahead and take off those nostrils as well. Right, bam. And we could go ahead, test that our black, right? Spray a little bit on the side. And we'll fill those in right there. All right, just fill them in nice and easy. And then we're gonna start uh, with the hair. So, oh, this piece below the ear, you can take that off. There's the piece below the ear and her earring and that goes kind of over the scarf that she's wearing over her hair or what do you call this? I, I don't wear these, but I, I, I assume it's like a scarf. Uh, we could take that and we could take the rest of her hair on her back off as well. Just so we could go ahead and fill those in. Those are the darkest colors. So I just want to take this off. Yeah. And then we could go ahead and fill that in as well. We're just going to go ahead and fill it all the way in. Like I said, we're going to come back in with some white. So with the white, we'll be able to detail in her hair using some light brush strokes. So for now, we just want to kind of fill in the black. And you got to be careful. We've, we've reduced it half and half, so there's quite a bit of reducer in there. So just be a little bit careful when you're building it up. And then same thing on the other side, but we're going to start on this side over here to make this side darker. All right, so take that one off, kind of spray that in. And I'm just covering this area here so I can tell kind of what's, what's going on once I get to that area. All right. And then we can take the top, the top of her hair off. I try to be pretty good about pre-cutting at this time so I don't have to go back and cut. Same thing, obviously we have these edges, so we kind of want to leave that edge, right? We didn't just leave leave that on purpose. So you could do that. And bring it all the way. Bam. Hmm. Cool. So I guess we should just work the face since we're already here. So we'll take this piece off her cheek and we'll take the part around her eyes, which is supposed to be like the skull eyes, right? We'll take that off. And this, obviously it has that one piece right there. So we could go ahead and take that and fold it over. You see that? Now we can just use that folded over part. You could probably even fold it over before you take it off. You just use that folded over part and kind of give that shadow in there. Bam. Same thing on the other side. I'll show you how to do it without taking it off. So we'll just pull it down to where that fold is. All right? And just hit those the top edge of that. Bam. Then we could take off the rest of it. And again, what you got to remember here is that this is not completely black, right? It's like the ma makeup on her face. So you kind of want to just build up the sh the shadows that her face would have here. Um, just a little darker than you would normally is all. And then also go around the edge and kind of shade that in around the bottom of the eye and around the top and all the way around. Well, you want to build up that shape inside, right? We're not just leaving it all black. And again, here, like all these tutorials, your own personal uh, expertise is going to come into place or like how good you are at airbrushing and as well as how much time you really want to devote to your painting. Uh, 
for all intents and purposes, I'm going to go pretty quick here. Shade this in. But again, if you want to take the time and build all this up and really nice, by all means, go, go ahead. A, a Christmas stocking? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't had any Christmas stockings request this year. Uh, this year we didn't do face painting for Halloween as well, so that, that also kind of sucked. So all I did was shade it around the cheek area, right? Just go around the edge quick, fast. You don't have to do too much. And we're going to take off the lips. Right. We're going to take off the top lip first. And there's a particular reason is because we want the shading to off of this corner to be on the top lip, right? So the, sh the shading is coming off the top, right? So that's why you want that right there. And then again, if you want to give us some nice little ridges, like some lips, you know, by all means, go ahead. Take off the bottom lip. And I would say you could probably take off this little heart here too that I did not cut out. And a lot of people would be like, why don't you just take everything off that you're going to paint at once? Well, because of overspray, right? So you want to use those edges to build up your painting. You don't want to just kind of lay in everything like a, like a savage. No seas salvaje. Right, so again, just a little detail on the bottom lip. Bring up some shading off the, off the bottom and around. And then shade in the heart going around. Light shade. You don't have to darken it in all the way in. Okay. So then we're going to switch off the face. And we're going to go down here to her dress. And we're going to start with the very bottom piece here. And take that off. And then we're just going to make it look like her dress is kind of wrinkled here. So we're just going to bring some strokes coming in off side to side. You know, if you want to get creative with it here, then by all means, that's what these designs are for. Right, and just go around, give it some little ridges. Then we're going to start with this uh, breast, uh, outer breast, the right breast. Just make sure that's cut. All right. And here, off of this top little area here, we just want to add a little shadow coming in. All right, and then we want to add like it's stretched across. So we're going to add some strokes coming in off of this way here. All right, and that'll give you a nice, just a few strokes there. Give it some shading on the outer corner here. Just a light shadow. Bam. Same thing. We could take off the next side, the next breast. learn shading on the skin more better yeah actually create tech sent over some uh, skin tone specific paint so here in the coming weeks we'll probably see some of that here on the channel as I play around more with it All right, it's the same kind of deal and this time we kind of want to build those stretches coming off in on the other side right so something like this and then we're just going to give it one nice shade coming off the side here. Nice and dark. Bam. 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 Bam, son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> same thing on the back. We kind of want to make it look like it's more, you know, maybe it's just kind of draping in the back. Not as, not as ridgy. So we're going to make those strokes going up and down. And we can make those kind of darks in the back area here. Again, we don't have to black it in completely. Just give it a nice amount of strokes. It's a little shadow in there. And that way when we come back with some white, you can throw in some highlights and it'll, it'll pop. Give it that nice poppity pop. All right, so now starting with her chest. Right now her breast, her chest. Uh, we're gonna start off with her arm all the way over here on the side. 
gonna lift up this tab right and then now here carefully you're gonna shade in this one side bam give it a little shadow going to the side here and a little shade going up I'm gonna keep moving to the next edge pull that down same thing give it a little shadow going down right it doesn't have to be dark but just a little shadow going around bam now we can take off the rest of it all the way up to this cut that i didn't cut right here it's like i gave up cutting right here on her face but anyway get that cut out now one thing i want to stress here is where this heart is we do not want to bring the shading over that way we want to bring the shading up to it like so but not all the way past right and then you see this curve here right that curves there for a reason you want to throw a little bit of a shade shadow just going over to that curve there and then over around this way like a, like a half moon right all the way across shaded a little bit coming down just to hit that edge and then you can hit this edge over here all the way softly build everything up softly and then right here there's also kind of like an indention you would want to line that up with the bottom of this shadow over here and bring it in right there blend in your other shading right in the middle of her breast here we're just going to bring in a nice little shadow here set nothing nothing crazy nothing major <clears throat> And then we want to leave this arm on. We'll just leave that on. Can you zoom in a little better? Uh, let's see here. It's about as close as I could get it without, without being in my way. Uh, right there. Uh, yeah, I, did, I haven't hooked up the other camera yet. So, you know, probably next week we'll have the, the nice zoom feature and it won't be in my way so much um okay where was i here all right so going up here to the face we can start with the ear there's this flap here and this flap here all right there's a couple flaps on the ear we want to pull those up and lay them over and there's one little strip that sticks if you could see that and then i'm just going to shade it in right there and then we'll lift up that other little piece and then throw one last shade right there. And then we could take off the rest of the face. Being careful to leave the little rose or the flower design around her eyes. You want to leave that behind. So try not to take that off. I'm going to try my hardest here to not rip it. Maybe I should just cut it again. go here let me put the airbrush down so I can do this I need both my hands and so I'm gonna take it all the way around oh, come on need the blade I could do it. Use thick paper, they say. I really want to find a better paper for this. Oh, oh, you know what? You know what? Before we take all this off, don't get ahead of me. If you're, if you're trying to do this at home, I almost forgot. We got to do her nose. Her nose, boy. Take the nose off. <laughs> See after all that. 
So again, we want to build up the shape of our nose. So we're going to shade in the bottom. Then we're going to give it a half moon. Right, coming around from the center to the top over here. Uh, use this indention here to bring in her nostril. And then just kind of shade it all in. Bring one shadow right above that nostril line. Bam. Bam. Some, okay, now take off the rest of this face. <laughs> see? See? Now we take it off. There you go. Make sure it's all stick in the right place. And like I said, we're working on gray today so that we could come back and do some white highlights, which is kind of more of a advanced technique instead of working on a whiteboard. So again, still using black. We're going to come in and shadow around here, build up the shape of her face, right? Because her face is not flat. We also want to shade in around her scarf over here. Uh, give her slight shadow here on the brow. Bring it all the way in to the flower design. Same thing here on her nose coming down off the eye. We're going to bring that in. Right? And just kind of use that to go around and build it up. Same thing on the other side. You know where her eyebrow would kind of go up. We'll shade that in. A little bit of shading coming off the other side. Uh, you know, maybe you want an indention a little bit here. Give her mouth a little bit of a, a crease there, right? And then shade the side of her face over here for the edge. Bam! Bam! Cool. So now we could take off the actual eye part. Uh, or the pupils, I should say. And to leave the, the whites of the eye behind. Take that off. Use those edges of that those actual white part, right? And just shade in. Give it a nice black dot in the middle. And don't worry too much because we are going to come back with the white and give these a nice bright white highlight. Um, as well as when we're done, we're going to take this all off and... Um, give it some eyelashes which characters usually look kind of weird without all right so we have that we can take those off we can now take off her scarf bam we're gonna take this going up oh somewhere along the line I got I took off her earring so I just shade around the earring and there would have been a shadow coming in right here, like so. So right, we'll white highlight it in. Once I find a good paper that I know I could cut pretty easily and it's going to be stand up to the paint pretty good. Yo, what's up, Dennis? How's it going, going? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dennis is the man, though. I think that painting gets to you tomorrow, Dennis. I checked it today. It sits already in Chicago. I sent you an email with the tracking number. I hope you got it. I never got a reply, so I'm like, I don't know if he's seen it. So we got all that in there. You can take off the piece here where her back is. And again, we're just gonna kind of come in and shade right here and down that way. Simple not nothing crazy um, actually before we take that off we could take these ruffles off right here and here give this shade this edge on the ruffles here if you want to bring in your ruffles you can And then again, if you want to get creative, use more colors, decorate it all fancy, by all means do so. And there you go. We got our, our last bit of shading in here. 
So we're gonna come in, just shade here. See this little, this little creases? That's her elbow, so we're gonna just kind of shade that in. We're gonna bring a, sh a sh like a really fuzzy line all around the edge, right? And that's gonna be the shadow here, all the way going up. Same thing going down. And then we're just gonna do the same thing to back here, but we're just gonna bring it up to there and close it in. Simple. You don't have to do too much. And we can take off the little rose design around her eyes. And we have a pretty good impression of where we have to mark those in, which is all we need. Cool. So here is where you could take your time. Like if you want to give her tattoos, if you want to decorate her face a little bit, uh, you know, this is where you would do that. So I just want to do in a couple lines here uh, for her mouth and mark off the teeth as well as outline her lips just to give it a nice look. Marking off this little shading here, giving it a hard edge, making sure everything is kind of how I want it. If you want to put in your eyelashes, now's the time. Get that all nice and in there. the little rose design or why do I keep calling it a rose design the little flowers oh. now I'm just gonna do a little spider web coming off of her forehead here before we move on to the white Again, if you want to take all the time and really detail this out, by all means, I'm not stopping you. Go ahead, do your thing. I just, for stream purposes, I don't want to take, you know, 24 hours painting a picture. I just want to, you know, kind of show you guys what's possible. Now that we have all that done, I could take off the teeth. Right now we have the teeth there. I'm going to give it a slight, just a little slight shadow off the top. Just so that they're not sticking out. You see that that kind of put them in in the mouth instead of on the mouth, right? Cool. So now we got all that in there. I believe we can take off the rest of the masking. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off all this paper. And the reason I want to do this is because we're gonna add hair to the already hair that's there. So take off all the masking, right? And we're left with this. Right, so using that same black we still have, we're gonna make a little bit of hair strands kind of coming off maybe, you know? Again, just accenting the stencil. You don't wanna go off on your own tangent there, but just do some nice fine lines. Depending on how much time you want to take, you can really flesh these out. It's all about time, patience, and how much dedication you want to put into it. So, again, if you don't work as fast as me, that's quite okay. That's what the video is for. You can go back, pause it, restart it, and do all, all that good stuff. So, and do a little bit, a little bit up here, like it's kind of being pulled into this scarf area you know and 
Then I'm gonna do a couple strands over here, like I'm looking like it's coming this way. Just coming off of right here, right where the neck is. Just put a few strands there. Bam. Bam, son, where'd you find this? I don't know why that's stuck in my head, but every time I, I think something's good, I have to say, bam. And then the first thing that comes into my head is, where'd you find this? <laughs> um, cool. So then again, if you want to give it a cool effect around the sides, um, which is kind of what I want to do. Uh, let's go into the stencil drawer here. Hmm. And I'm just going to kind of use this hex pattern. We're not going to put it up fully up on her. We're just going to kind of shade it in. And you can use anything for these effects. There's a lot of stuff. This hex design will be uh, available soon uh, on the website mikesbrush.com. So now we're just going to rinse up. Oh, wait, let me just do a little shadow coming off the edges here. Just a little bit. Might as well use all that black, huh? And there it is. Cool. So now I'm just gonna rinse out the black here real quick. And we're gonna load up some opaque white. So again, just take a little bit. We don't need much. It's a light bit of opaque white. And we're going to build up some high tones. Some high tones, son. It's not the same as a highlight. Again, we're going to do about three to one paint to reducer. So just a tad bit of reducer. We don't need more than just a tad little bit. If you're using a little bit of paint, just, you know, a little bit of reducer. Just a tad little bit. Three to one. Shake it up. And then we're just going to build up the high tone on her arm. Right in the middle, right? See it? See it popping in? I'm just working it in lightly. I'm not trying to get a ton of overspray anywhere, nothing like that. Just really slowly build up those highlights where you want them. Right? A little bit on the ruffles here. And this is really what's going to really start to blend in the stencil and, and uh, make it look really nice is once you start adding those little freehand touches, you know, it really. It really brings it out and makes it shine. 
don't need much but just to smooth out the black if you feel like it a little bit of on her neck and her chest give a little bit of a highlight on her back arm there and just work it around a little bit of highlights on her blouse or shirt whatever you want to call it and maybe one hard edge highlight on the back on her back here back of her shirt same thing with her face don't worry too much about where it's black you just want to bring in the highlight slowly and gently on her nose on the top same thing on the around the edge of her nose you want to kind of edge that in with the white and then bring that shadow or that shade around See, just like that. Same thing on the other side. Maybe give the teeth one slight touch. A little bit of highlight on that bottom lip. And then just a little bit of blending here on the chin. A little bit of blending on that spider web just to give, you know, like the lights reflecting over. And then give those eyes a nice little white highlight. Nice little white highlight. Look at that. Oh, I went too far on that one. That still looks okay. Cool. Then if you want to highlight in as much as you want or you feel like that's necessary. Oh, don't forget the earring. Highlight in your earring. Mine's special because I'm special. So I'm just going to make it look as best as I can right there. Cool. And then we're going to bring in some strokes for the hair. So she obviously has wavy hair, so we want to bring in some wavy strokes. And yeah, depending on how much time you want to take is depending on how much strokes you're going to make, right? So I'm just going to add a few there. And we don't want to highlight her whole set of hair, but we maybe. Maybe some of it's catching the light here, you know. I just want to make sure that those ones get a little bit of highlights. Bam. Like I said, simple design, two colors. A little bit of reducer and you could uh, have some good practice with your airbrush you know so I think that's pretty much it color finished so now I can move you guys in my way where I'm not painting so and there you go again like I said the stencil link is down below in the video description if you want to try this exercise for free at home on your own time uh, there you go so again thank you guys all for watching a uh, special shout out again to the sponsors uh, create text here and super clean for helping us out bring you guys more videos like this as well as everybody in the skull squad there's air Todd there's Dennis there's James there's Stephen Ward there's Heather um, Justice, uh, how many can I list off the top of my head? Uh, Smoke Eater over on Discord. Uh, there's Gary Thornsberry, can't forget you. Uh, Jesus, Bill, uh, Bill, and yeah. So, all you guys, if I forgot your name, please remind me down in the comments. I'll make sure to mention you next time. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you guys like that. Uh, cool work. Thank you, Ariton. Did you blow it up? Um, you could you could make the stencil in any size you want. So I used the uh, eight. I think these papers are actually nine nine by twelve papers, and this is a ten by sixteen canvas or something like that. It's a, it's a weird size. So yeah, but you can you print it out and make it whatever size you want, man. You can blow it up. You can make same size the same size as the printout well that printout is you could print it out any size like i said so <laughs> um it's easier honestly it's easier the bigger you make it it's easier to do um because even at even at this size doing some of the smaller stuff uh all freehand if you're not very good you know at the freehand stuff it's gonna be harder 
as opposed to if you make it huge, if you get like a huge canvas and do it, uh, it's a lot easier um, to really get the detail in there, to be honest. Um, that, that's why the, the skilled one of us work on smaller scale. And then, you know, even if you're more skilled, like if you're Stephen Leahy, um, uh, granted, he doesn't just use just an airbrush, but, you know, obviously his paintings are, are minuscule. And that's just because he's mastered his craft. Uh, obviously, you know, I, I'm I'm working with time here, too. I'm trying to keep it under an hour so that uh, you guys can enjoy the video. Uh, but if I would have taken more time and all that, I probably could have got this looking way even a little better, you know. So, again, it's all about time, dedication, how much time you want to throw at it. So, <sighs> okay, you have the printing paper. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's about the same size. It's just a little bit bigger than the printing paper. So, anyway, guys, also down in the description, there's a link to the Discord. If you want to ask me more questions and you want to be part of the... Mike's brush community. I suggest you go over there again. I, if you want to help support the channel, if you like these videos and you want to see more videos like them, please consider joining the skull squad, clicking the join button down below the video helps bring you more channels, more channels like this, more videos like this. Hopefully it doesn't bring more channels. Holy crap. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. I'll be posting up, uh, the link to this or the finished product here on social media. Um, so you guys can see it out. So we'll see you guys later. Peace out.